Hello dear friends, how are you? I hope you all are good. Now say in our uh, metals and non-metals topic, okay? So we are uh, continuing our next point that is nature and structure of ionic compounds. Nature and structure of ionic compound. Okay, so basically whatever ionic compounds, so as you know beta, whatever ionic compounds, they are what interacted by oppositely charged spaces okay oppositely charged ions and these ions are interact okay with one another these ions are what will happen they are interact with one another to form what ionic compounds okay so generally uh, what will happen whenever we are considering ionic compounds so beta if you are considering each cation so that each cation is not attracted by a single anion but a number of anions okay and if you are considering single anion is not only attracted by single cation but a number of cations okay so whatever this uh, uh, we are going to drawing here that species so that species we call it what cluster of ions okay so see as like this your whatever say your positive charge okay negative charge so as you know positively charged spaces how it will form negative charge okay according to size plus is your bigger and negative is your smaller so like this means how cluster of ions here uh, we can observe this thing okay like this beta here no any means uh, they are completely compact here okay plus minus plus minus okay like that minus again here what plus okay so again if you are considering here what will happen beta yes here minus then here what yes plus then here again what minus here what big one plus now here what negative here what positive here what negative here what again positive like that uh, we can continue so say as like this okay your cluster of ions means whatever your ionic compounds are like this positive negative positive negative okay means whatever your this single cation is not only attracted by one anion but a number of anions okay so this thing you uh, keep in mind first okay so see like this okay so say basically these are compact nature like this okay i hope you understood all this thing okay so like that these are what cluster of ions we call it as a what cluster of ions so basically beta here ionic compounds exist as a what neutral molecules exist as a neutral molecule means here uh, one uh, thing here uh, point to be noted here what point to be noted here your whatever this plus minus sign they can cancel out each other and whatever your whole ionic compounds are what neutral molecule but but what beta whatever in your ionic compounds is what beta ions are present okay what beta here ions are present now we will discuss uh, most important part here in uh, nature and structure of ionic compounds so that is physical properties okay so properties of ionic compounds okay properties of ionic compounds so let's start here properties of yes properties of what beta ionic compounds okay so now uh, as you know which property here first yes physical state first property what beta physical state so as you know whatever ionic compounds these are what solids at uh, room temperature okay so why they are solid at room temperature because it contains cluster of ions now only we saw that clusters of ions okay so this uh, first physical uh, property okay next we will see hardness yes hardness generally what your 
metals whatever ionic compounds these are what hard in nature why because whatever it contains strong electrostatic force of attraction in between them okay that's how your metals whatever your ionic compounds are what hard now we will discuss here third property third property is what conductivity what we did here third property conductivity okay so in third property conductivity so as you, as you know your uh, whatever your uh, ionic compounds so that ionic compounds they conduct electricity in aqueous solution not in molten state okay so basically uh, keep in mind uh, whatever this uh, molten state and uh, whatever in aqueous these are two different okay so aqueous solution means what they are dissolving in water and molten means what absence of water okay so these are what basically two different things here okay suppose uh, if uh, we are going to dissociate these two things so what will happen see here in uh, conductivity say your nacl okay it is an ionic compound it is in what beta in aqueous state suppose so what will happen beta see na plus plus okay so what will happen here na plus h plus because it is dissolved in water so in i am writing here what na plus h plus plus positive part i am writing here then what beta cl minus plus oh minus i am writing okay understood means what they are dissolving in water understood h plus and oh minus na plus and cl minus they are dissolving in water so in any cell in aqueous solution it will conduct electricity but whenever you are saying like this in a cl okay in a molten state what beta molten it is also called as what fused state okay so in that what will happen na plus plus cl minus only what beta here na plus plus cl minus that's why we compare with this dissociation so we discuss here dissociation what will happen in water na plus h plus cl minus mean they are dissolving in water so that's why they conduct electricity but here it will not conduct electricity okay so we will discuss uh, fourth uh, properties of ionic compounds so this question beta very very much important for your next uh, year also means uh, whenever you go 10th uh, standard at that time also this much this uh, whatever this question is very much important so they gave directly for 3 marks or directly gave for 5 marks okay so next we will discuss fourth uh, property high high melting high melting and uh, what beta boiling point okay so generally as in any compound they have high melting and boiling point okay because that bond is strong whatever ionic bond is strong okay or we can say due to strong electrostatic force of attraction among them okay so as we saw uh, clusters of ions also how they it will arrange in cluster okay so we will discuss some uh, ionic compounds and their what Uh, melting and boiling point. So say here ionic compounds here. Here what melting points and here what beta? Yes, some boiling points. Okay. So ready with this? Some more we will discuss ionic compounds. Suppose if you are saying NaCl, first well known ionic compound NaCl. So that NaCl is also called as what? rock salt okay so see melting point so we will see in what kelvin whatever that melting point and boiling point we will see in kelvin so see melting point 1074 kelvin so as you know how to convert kelvin okay uh, t degree celsius t degree celsius plus 273 so you will get what the kelvin okay so here uh, 1686 kelvin okay so suppose uh, if you are considering next uh, salt lcl so beta here 887 kelvin so this much beta high what melting and melting and boiling point understood so one more we will discuss here uh, third one okay third one is what beta calcium chloride bond between metal and non metal is what 
ionic bond okay that also say 1045 kelvin and what if it are 1900 kelvin so the, these are what few example we discuss okay in this ionic compounds properties of ionic compounds so now we will discuss next uh, properties of ionic compound ready for this so see here uh, your next that is fifth so we will dis uh, discuss this fifth solubility okay what we are here solubility okay uh, in some uh, areas we can call this as a solubility okay what beta solubility understood so as you know beta whatever your ionic compounds they are generally dissolve in water okay ionic compound is are generally soluble in water okay so why they are soluble in water okay so because these are what polar in nature means like dissolves like one concept also here you keep in mind insolubility like dissolves like dissolves like means polar so polar molecules means what here beta polar molecules okay dissolves in in polar solvent so how we can identify this polar solvents are there or that polar molecules are there how we can identify so say very much simple here so uh, but what here the need of concentration so as i uh, okay you are a good student very good student so see here h2 so beta this h2 so basically structure of this h2 so we will discuss that structures also in your uh, 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 whenever we discuss uh, next topics okay so see your water is as like this h2o okay so this word hydrogen duplet is completed one two one two because as you know hydrogen yes hydrogen they want as you know hydrogen one electron completion so beta they want one electrons to complete its duplets so beta hydrogen they are completing what duplet maximum how much electrons two electrons they are trying to complete it okay so see here and your oxygen so oxygen like this your oxygen completed here eight electron octet because their atomic number high so as like this eight electrons understood so see one two three four five six seven eight understood okay and hydrogen what beta duplet completed so your water structure is correct understood so here one thing you got here how your oxygen they are completing octet so it is what beta lewis octet rule okay lewis octet rule means whatever that structure you have to draw on the basis of lewis structures okay lewis rule so see so as you know beta your oxygen what atomic number yes oxygen atomic number 8 so beta their electron configuration what 2 6 okay so they are trying to accept two electrons to complete this octet so here they do so understood so beta here oxygen 8 electrons is completed and our structure also what correct here okay so means the so wow one more question is what what is the polar so polar means what suppose uh, i want to draw this again here uh, whenever uh, we have to discuss this polarity so say as like this hydrogen hydrogen oxygen two lone pairs hydrogen okay <coughs> So among these two, so we saw in periodic classification of elements, ele electronegativity. So beta electronegativity among this hydrogen oxygen, which one is higher? Yes, oxygen is higher. So it whatever electrons shifted, they are attracted towards where? Oxygen. So here also same. Okay. So 
ओके एंड योर लोन पेयर लोन पेयर हैव इंडिपेंडेंट एक्सिस्टेंस सो दे आर डूइंग व्हाट अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो इट विल देयर डायपोल मूवमेंट सो वन important here thing is what dipole moment suppose if your hcl compound is there so hydrogen plus to minus hcl so how we can draw this delta plus plus cl minus cl minus as like this okay so understood this so hydrogen plus so oxygen more electron negative more electron negative so oxygen is try to attract electron towards itself so it makes uh, your water what polar so your water what beta here polar and your nacl is what beta suppose if you are thinking your nacl so how it will generate like this plus minus so as you know na plus and cl minus okay so polarity generates me dipole two pole generated plus and minus okay so it is what beta sign is what dipole what beta it is sign of dipole okay so means whatever your polar molecules dissolve in okay so these are what beta polar solvent okay so this beta nacl is what your polar molecule okay so that polar molecules dissolve in what polar solvent means what Like dissolves like polar sol polar molecule dissolves in polar solvent and non-polar molecule dissolve in non-polar solvents. Understood? So basically, this important. Which one is polar solvent, non-polar solvent? Okay. I hope you understood this all. Okay. So uh, revise this and uh, if still if you have any doubts, you can say. Okay, I will explain you definitely. So very much important here this thing, polarity and non-polar. That again we are you have to discuss. Okay, we will study this in more in a higher standard also polarity. Understood? So how you are these uh, water molecules? Okay, so whatever these water molecules arrange around ions of ionic compounds in such way that okay. or whatever your okay in a such way that each cation is surrounded by negative pole and each anion is surrounded by positive pole okay so whatever this phenomenon whatever this phenomenon is called as hydration what beta hydration means cation is surrounded by negative pole and anion is surrounded by positive pole so whatever that process is called as yes process is called as hydration means here your nacl this solid beta okay so nacl solid so here how much h2o h2o okay so like that it will what bind to that nacl okay so that h2o understood or we can further this uh, show like this plus and minus h plus and minus okay so whatever uh, heat is released okay so once you understood hydration is what so whatever heat is released in this process so we called as what hydration energy we called is what hydration energy so very much important is hydration suppose if you are thinking about ionic solids so in that ionic solid your cation is surrounded by what beta negative pole and anion is surrounded by what no? by beta what what yes anion is surrounded by positive pole and all of that process is called as what hydration okay one crystal of nacl it will attracted by your whole water molecule okay so whatever your this okay so uh, next we are going to discuss after hydration energy that what solvation solvation energy so beta that solvation energy it helps to what further dissociation of that ionic species so we will discuss what is the solvation and solvation energy also in solubility so basically the solubility is very much important okay and basic concept 
here okay so see here beta uh, we will uh, write here uh, one important note regarding your solvation okay so see when water is used as a solvent okay when water is used as a solvent okay when water is used as a solvent then solvation energy is known as then solvation energy is known as what beta solvation energy is known as hydration energy hydration energy understood okay and and suppose and suppose any other solvent is used okay any other solvent or we can say that solvent is what any other solvent or we can say what here any other polar solvent is used or any other polar solvent is used then that solvent sorry then that process that process is known as solvation that process is known as solvation and energy release and energy release in this process in this process it's called as yes solvation energy solvation energy i hope you understood this so beta keep in mind here once again i will uh, tell you when water is used as a solvent then solvation energy is known as hydration energy because water hydra okay oxides of hydrogen water hydration energy and when any other solvent that is polar solvent is used then that process is called as solvation simply and energy release in this process is called as what beta solvation energy so these are what here basically your solubility okay so here one thing i am also going to share you one important definition okay so it belongs to your solubility so that is what beta here lattice what here lattice okay so what is the lattice so are you heard about this uh, word lattice so here one crystal lattice means one crystal of your sodium chloride if you if uh, suppose you are going to discuss about one crystal of any cl okay means how they it will arrange okay so see the 3d arrangement so what is your lattice the 3d arrangement okay or we can say three dimensional arrangement of of particles in a space it's called as yes it's called as lattice okay so basically your nacl is what okay there uh, means suppose if you saw your nacl so nacl arrangement is what one crystal of one molar crystal of nacl arrangement is what your octahedral means how it will arrange octahedrally nacl understood so it is a part of your higher studies uh, in depth uh, you suppose you are going to discuss depth of that crystal eh? so many crystals uh, are there okay for higher study for the de depth study okay so see 3d arrangement of particle in space it's called as lattice and one more here important we are going to discuss that is lattice energy so lattice energy here also is also very much important here okay so see what is the lattice energy the energy the energy release okay when 
when one mole of crystal the energy release when one mole of crystal is for is for or or the energy or the energy required to break to break one mole of crystal into its constituent ions it's called as it's called as what beta yes it's called as lattice energy it's called as yes lattice energy so see here how we can uh, see deal with the example okay when uh, your one mole of crystal is formed so when mole of crystal is formed at that time what release of energy okay so see here how we can uh, form like this to so say you are suppose any example uh, i will take here in terms of a and b suppose a and b is a solid the one ionic compound so beta a plus b minus a plus plus b minus okay suppose they are going to what formation of crystal so formation of crystal the energy release when one mole of crystal is formed so a b means compound ionic solid is prepared plus energy means what energy is released or understood or not energy is released and suppose like this okay a b any compound so energy there what plus energy means energy they are absorbing to form what into its energy required to break means energy absorbing to break one mole of crystal into its constituent ions so a plus plus what beta b minus understood i hope you understood all this thing and whatever our last property okay so last property of your ionic compounds so as i already told so these all properties of ionic compounds are very very much important okay so fast chemical reactions what your next is what beta next properties of ionic uh, compound fast chemical reactions okay so see in fast chemical reaction so basically what will happen beta whatever your reactions of ionic compounds are actually the reaction between oppositely charged ions so it will react what it will react to fast okay it will react very fast and therefore uh, making difficult to identify the rate of reaction or may it difficult to study the rate of reaction means within a, how much time it will uh, complete that reaction okay rate of reaction with respect to time so basically uh, uh, whenever you are dealing with any reaction so how much time it will react how much time it will take to react that uh, ionic compounds or any other compounds so it is a part of uh, another branch that is which that branch chemical kinetics so it is also uh, one full topics in higher standard chemical kinetics to study about the rate of reaction so whether these are reactions how it how much time it will take to complete the reaction okay so fast chemical reaction so as you know ionic compounds they are giving all very much fast reaction and give all it is to make uh, difficult to study the rate of reaction okay so these are what you are all about uh, today's lecture what your physical properties of ionic compounds we completed okay i hope you understood all this thing of today's lecture okay so thank you very much stay safe stay home if you have any doubt you can say